All right, we are recording. This is our weekly leadership Zoom. Guys, if you're getting on here, it's because you want to grow your business. And today is the best day to really dig into that. Um, Maria Dillard is several things. <laughs> one, um, she's one of my closest friends. Uh, which when we started this business, when she reached out to me, I really barely knew her and we were just Facebook friends and acquaintances, um, but we've become very close friends. Uh, she is a mentor. She's a friend, but also guys, she's the top earner in the company. Um, she is the first to go to our new 1 million rank. Um, she has recently recharged her business. She has always been all in. Um, way all in. <laughs> I don't even know if that's a term, but but if you want to say like somebody's the definition of all in in this business, it is definitely Maria. Um, but now she's still 10 and a half years in, she's still finding new people. Um, so I really I want her to introduce her herself because I know some of you don't know her. Um, so I would love for you to hear her quick story, but then also we want to get into the nitty gritty today of how she's finding these new people, because I think one of the things we hear all the time is, well, nobody wants to thrive with me and everybody's already heard of thrive and everybody's already tried thrive and it's just not true. <laughs> so Maria, thank you so much for taking your time today on the road, on the way to Florida. Can't wait to see you in the Bahamas. Um, we are so excited, but if you could just kind of kick off with how you got started, who you were, free thrive. Yeah, I know we've got a lot of new people on and um, thank you for recording this and thank you for hosting this every week. I know so many teams company-wide benefit from this Zoom every week, Amber, so thank you. Um, yeah, so basically um, I started the products for selfish reasons, was not interested in being um, a promoter, wanted nothing to do with the business, wouldn't even entertain a conversation, to be honest, for 18 months. Um, I put Tony off when she would reach out to me about Thrive. So the first thing that I want to say to you guys is don't give up on people. Build relationships with people. If someone has said not right now, no big deal. Still go comment on their post today of them and what they're doing with their kids. Um, interact with them. Be their friend first. Um, people will trust you and they will come to you when they're ready. I think it's important that, you know, you can't determine when they're ready. All you can do is educate them and let them know what we have on the table. Um, for me, Tony kept posting about Thrive. She kept following up with me on Thrive. She would um, reach out to me when there were company promos, right? And finally, when I said, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired, she's who I reached out to. This is another reason why you're... Um, commercial has to run on your social media 24 seven, because people are going to hit a breaking point. Okay. They're going to say, I've got to do something. And they're going to reach out to someone. The health and wellness business industry is huge. And there's vitamins on every corner. There's direct sales companies on every corner. Everybody, you know, is doing something. Um, I am so glad that I reached out to her. Funny thing is, is Tony and I weren't super close. We weren't friends. We were work colleagues that became Facebook friends. But Tony was building a relationship with me and she knew why I needed these products. She watched me work full time, go from two kids to four kids overnight when my twins were born. So when she felt amazing, I was one of the top ones that she thought of that, that could benefit from this. As she was helping other tired, exhausted mamas, I continuously crossed her mind. So she would reach out and reach out 18, 18 so I the rest is history. Another thing I have to tell you guys is we were broke. I, um, we, you know, I had made decent money. My husband made decent money, but we had literally, um, got caught up in the hole. You spend what you make. And we had also drained our savings account to move to West Texas. Um, and I didn't work for about six months. So money was tight. I really couldn't take another, um, 150 bucks, 190 bucks, 200 bucks, whatever out of our, um, account, until I got paid and they were still writing me paper checks. So I was waiting on a, a paycheck to hit the mailbox to take to the bank to place my first order. So don't write off the girl that can't afford your Thrive right now. Okay. Um, you know what Tony did for me though? She said, you know what, Maria, I want you to get started with this and I want you to have shakes for every day. Back then in 2013, this is a fun fact. I want you guys to know this because this is huge right now with inflation and the cost of living these days. Back then, if you wanted 
30 days worth of capsules, 30 days worth of shakes, and 30 days worth of DFT, you were spending $190. $190, okay? Um, I could get a tone pack, is what they called it, that only had one box of shakes. And that that's basically, Tony said, okay, I want you to get this. It doesn't include the DFT, but I'm going to send you free DFT. So Tony had products in her house that she could use to incentivize that person that is tight on budget. Back then, we couldn't share Lavelle credits, or I'm sure she would have done that. This is another thing. I'm going to be training you guys as I'm sharing my story, okay? Um, make sure you always have credits in your account to share and product at your house to invest into people. Tony invested a $50 pack of DFT. That's turned into over $2 billion in sales that our team has brought in. I'm thinking that's a pretty dang good rate of return investment, right, guys? You never know. And here's the reality. Sometimes you're going to give somebody a $50 and they're never going to order again. It's a crapshoot. You don't know. Um, sometimes you're going to give somebody $50 in credits and they're never going to order again. Again, you don't know. But what if it works? What if it works? You've got to treat this like a business. So make sure you always have products. You always have credits. Right now, that $800 pack, guys, you're getting $1,000 in volume. Go get you an $800 pack. If you're within your first 60 days in business and you don't have one yet, go get it. Just go get it. You get $1,000 in volume. If you have zero volume right now, you make yourself a fourth of the way to 4K for a little bit of extra paycheck, right? Um, you're going to get 20, $20 coupon codes that you can share with people. Right now, people, people need a discount. They just do. I don't care if you're sending them $15 in credits to help cover shipping or $50 or you're giving them some free product or whatever it is. People want a deal um, because they feel like they're getting screwed when they flip to the grocery store or wherever. So if you can be a Thrive Girl that helps them get started um, with a deal, then do it. Um, another thing that I have to say is ask when someone uh, ask what their budget is, um, because if somebody says their budget's hundred dollars, let's get on the capsules in the shake, right? And then what do you have in your closet that you can send them? Um, if somebody says their budget is seventy five, okay, what what do you have in your closet and what do you have in credits, guys? Where there's a will, there's a way, because then you say, here's what I can do for you. I'm going to get you started, but I need you to send me the names of two friends right now, because if we get those two friends on board with you this month, then your Thrive is free next month. And I will tell you, this is what I've been religiously doing that has really fueled the fire in my team. And my new team is already duplicating this. Everybody is starting out with something, whether they be free product, $15 in credits, $20 coupon code. Everybody's starting with something. And then we're immediately working on refer to get it for free. What does that do to your volume? It triples your volume right away. And so that's how these new teams are coming in and popping um, because we're focusing on those things. I will be honest, I'm 10 years in, and y'all, when you do the same thing day in and day out, day in and day out, you can feel like a broken record. You can feel like you lose your mommy mojo. And to be honest, probably my rekindled fire has been getting around other people. Like I've always been talked to the same business builders 24 seven and me just getting with other people and hearing what they're doing and hearing new stories and not claiming to be a know-it-all like that is one thing as your leader I may be the top earner in this company and I we may have a huge freaking team but I've never said I'm a know-it-all like I'm constantly and I love it like I love that challenge I love that accountability um I'm still human right like the, the reason we have what we have is because we got a whole lot of people doing the same thing um but a lot of people do things differently and maybe that little bit different that you can implement will just spark things and switch things up and get some things going right um so let's go back Tony gets me started she gives me a free pack of DFT right I start my Thrive Experience I'm that one that wanted nothing to do with this business. And by day five, I'm like, holy crap, I feel better than I have in forever. I hop into her Facebook and I say, oh my gosh, I feel better than I have in years. I can't believe that it took me so long to try this. You know, what did you say about getting it for free? She picked up the phone. This is another basic training, one-on-one, -on -one, 101. She picked up the phone and she called me and she says, you are thriving and she's laughing and giggling because I sound way different than that bitter, nasty, in a bad mood person that had put her off for 18 months. I will tell you that. 
And, you know, as she did, she connected me to the guy that got her inter interested in the business. And you know what? They were like, yeah, this stuff works. Isn't it great? You know, you've got a lot of tired, exhausted mama friends that need this. They instantly painted a picture in my mind. They, they made those images, those friends that I know that are tired, exhausted, have a lot of kids, work a lot of hours, have headaches all the time, you know, deal with their knees hurting or their back hurting or just need some extra energy or want a dose of motivation in the morning or maybe looking to lose a little weight. All of those people popped into my mind. And then immediately they told me how I could go VIP 800 because that's what we had back then. And I could earn $400 just by helping four to five people thrive, thrive with me and $200 in credits. And I'm like, well, how does the company make any money paying out that kind? But, and they just kind of laughed at me. Well, today I know the company isn't making a lot of, they're not making money on when you go VIP 400, VIP 800, VIP 1600. They're investing in you because they believe in the power of the products. And they know if you get a check on Tuesday and by Tuesday, you've got your friends blowing up your phone saying, oh my God, I haven't had a headache in five days. Oh my gosh, I did the laundry and I put it away. Oh my gosh, normally when my boss acted like that, I would want to throat punch him, but I literally just ignored him. Oh my gosh, my husband says like, I'm acting like I used to. I'm in such a better mood. They know that is their investment in you. They know if they can fuel your bank account and you've got people coming to you saying how much, how much better they feel, you're going to build their company because you're going to keep telling people about it. Because why wouldn't you want to get a paycheck another Tuesday and another Tuesday and another Tuesday? And why wouldn't you want to help more friends that need more energy throughout the day, want to lose a little bit, need a little dose of motivation, deal with headaches all the time? They need what we have, right? So it all goes hand in hand. What did I do? I'm like, well, game on. I mean, I know way more than just a few people that need this. Um, I need Christmas money. We're broke. And the only way I could make more money for Christmas was if I worked after hours because I was a contract speech pathologist. So I worked per patient, per visit. And the only way I could make extra is if I went and saw patients after Ralph got home to watch the kids or on the weekends. Guys, a fire was lit in my soul and I've not stopped since. Like, I mean, Amber, Amber said it and I, I, that is my claim to fame. And to be honest, that's why I've been so successful is because I don't stop. Um, if when you come on again, off again, you post about your thrive and you don't talk about it for five weeks, you're uh, people that follow you think it doesn't work or you're not serious. This whole on again, off again, on again, off again, on again, off again, it doesn't work if you want to build an income that truly pays you well week after week after week. It just doesn't. So, I mean, if you want it to be a hobby and you just kind of want to get a paycheck when you make a post, I mean, I guess, but man, you're making it harder on yourself because it's making, making it harder for people to trust you because you're not consistently believing in it and you're not living it. When you believe in it and you live in it, live it then people are going to be far more likely to actually trust you and experience it for themselves. So, um, you know, I was hungry when I started and that's what I look for today. I want somebody that's hungry. I want somebody that is sick and tired of being sick and tired. They're sick and tired of living paycheck to paycheck. They're sick and tired of having to tell their kids no um, on things that that, that they would love to do. They're sick and tired of missing the things with their kids that they want to do. They want to create a better way. That's who I want to work with because that's who I was. And I feel like um, the most successful people in this company had that hunger and um, they also haven't forgotten what it was like before and they don't want to go back to that place. Um, that's what motivates them on a daily basis. You know, people ask me all the time, Maria, how do you stay so motivated? Well, honestly, because I don't ever want to go back to where I was before. And I've tasted freedom and I want freedom for the rest of my life. Like case in point right now, we are driving from Texas to Florida because Jaden just accepted a position there. Um, we need to have her truck there, right? Um, so we're moving all of her things there. And then we're going to drive down, hop on the cruise, um, go back. She'll start her job. I'll fly home. I now have my oldest child living out of state. I want to be able to get to her when she needs me, right? Like I want the freedom. I want the, the time options. Um, my son just committed to play baseball for OU. That's in another state. I'm going to want to go to his games. I'm going to want to be a part of things, right? My husband and I don't want to miss. We, for 10 years, y'all, we haven't missed. I mean, yeah, there's been some things we missed because we have a lot of kids and they all have stuff going on at the same time and we divide and conquer, but we haven't had to miss because we have to go to work. Like, 
and or we have to ask someone for permission off or we have to like I am very much so I I believe that we can create a life where we get to do what we want to do with the people that we love the most and um, that's my mission. That's what I want to do. That's that's what I want for the rest of my life. And that's what I want to create for all of you. Now, I am fully aware that not everybody wants to do that. Like, I know that a lot of people, your calling is the the job that you have that when you work eight to five, you're like, no, this is what I was called to do. This is what I enjoy. Guys, I love the fact that we can provide the option for those of you that are working in your calling at your full-time job, that we can say, hey, you know what? You want to drive a luxury car? You can earn a car bonus every month. Or maybe that eight to five doesn't give you the ability to earn trips and you can go on trips. There are people that are going to be on this cruise in a few days that this is very much their part-time business, but by God, they do it for the trips, you know, and they certainly do it for the car bonus. I mean, a car with no car payment is pretty darn sweet. So um, that's kind of the beginning and what, what keeps me motivated. And um, I, you know, I, I also am insanely confident in what we have here because I do plug into the stories. I think it's so important. You know, if you find yourself, you're not a robot and you're not a machine. Okay. There's going to be days and life is going to happen. There's going to be days where you're like, I love my business. I love these products, but I am not feeling it today. And you know what? That's okay. My biggest piece of advice is on those days, take an inspiration post from some other thriver and slap it up there just so your people know you are still thriving. And I think another thing to remind yourself of is you don't want to, I mean, whatever you're going through, it would be a whole lot worse if you weren't taking your thrive every day. Whatever you're going through would be a whole lot worse if you weren't getting paid every Tuesday. So, like, you've got to keep that going, um, even in the hard times, right? Utilize us. Um, another thing that I think is so important is utilizing the confidence of other people. Um, that is something that my new team is utilizing the heck out of me. I am in hundred, I swear, a hundred messenger chats um, at the moment, like just literally being plugged into people, plugged into people, plugged into people. In the beginning, we did a lot of three-way calls. Now with modern day technology, hop into messenger, send a voice memo. They can see that you're a real person. They can see, I mean, they'll see that I'm, you know, got a lot of kids. I mean, I, I thrive. I, you know, we play a lot of baseball around here, you know, and you kind of humanize yourself. You make yourself more relatable. Um, but you can also use the the confidence of someone else. I built my business in that first 90 days by putting every single person on the phone with Tony. Tony did this full time. I was working full time and raising four kids, guys. Um, I needed help. But what that did for me is it built my paycheck. It built Tony's too. But she, she had the confidence. She had the story. She knew how to answer the questions. Um, and it basically like trained me because I could hear how she was answering those things, um, and gave me the confidence to then turn around and be that for my team. Um, so if you're doing this all on your own, you are so shooting yourself in the foot. I am telling you right now, you're shooting yourself in the foot because you're trying to be an expert, a friend and product knowledge, ask the questions, you know what I mean? And um, I work with my personals. I mean, I connect Amber to my potentials. I connect Tanya to my potentials. You know, like I connect Sheila to my potentials. I mean, I have several frontline promoters that are obviously my business partners and friends. I connect my new people with them. I will tell you when I don't, I notice a difference. Um, so it's super important to make connections, stay consistent. I don't feel like I'm telling you guys anything right now that you haven't heard but I think we all need reminders just to keep doing it. You know, there is no magic sauce. Um, obviously, staying in tune with what you're doing. You know, you don't do this for my goal or Amber's goal, right? What is it that you want? What is it that you want? Like, you have to know what you want and what you're going for. Um, another thing, Amber, I really want to talk about, guys, because we have trackers galore. Everybody right now has a tracker in your cloud, right? We actually, we we just had a couple of trackers. Everyone automatically had a VIP reset, right? Go fill in those trackers. Then also reach out to your team. Hey, send me your VIP tracker. Hey, send me your VIP tracker. These new people that I'm bringing on board, I can go in and look at my VIP report. But you know what I do? 
I want them to go send me a picture of their VIP report because the minute we get that first customer, guess what? They're halfway to earning their first $200 bonus. And then I say, oh, look, all you need is one promoter. Let's get, who, who do we know? Who do we know that's a customer that just wants to make some money? We'll flip them to promoter. I actually heard that when we were at the mastermind group in Cabo. I've never looked at it that way. Um, one of our leaders, literally, she asked people when they're starting, she's like, well, do you want to be a customer or a customer that can make money? Because that's really what a promoter is. If you look at it, like our promoter account option doesn't have any website fee, no sign up fee, no join fee, no, we, you got to do this to make, there's no difference in being a customer or a promoter over here, other than the fact that you legit have an opportunity to earn some commissions and bonuses. Like that's the only difference. So I love that verbiage and we've started implementing that verbiage and can it, it, it really turns things around because Sometimes people think, oh, if I have a promoter account, then like I have all these expectations and qualifications and quotas and all these things. And 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 here we don't, right? So um utilizing the heck out of your tracker. Right now we're all we all have a tracker for the next trip. Okay, so figure it out. What 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 does your tracker show? How can you get that tracker moving? You know, um, that first customer's got to go in. You know, who's set up for auto ship? Can you can you message your team and say, hey, anybody that schedules an auto ship to run for the 20th, I'll put you in a drawing for what do you have? What do you have in your closet? Because you have products on hand. How can you use the products that you have on hand to throw back into your business to incentivize? Or how many credits do you have? We'll do a drawing for $100 in credits. We'll do a drawing for $75 in credits. Um, how can you get your trackers moving? Trackers are a big deal. And I, I do feel like it, it's just the psychology of it. We're not, again, we're not robots. We're not machines. We are, we are human beings. We have feelings. We have goals. We, we are motivated by certain things. And we all want to move the needle. It is, it's exhausting when you feel like you're doing all the things and you're not moving the needle. So look at, look at how to move the needle. And then just start moving it. Um, one other thing I do want to mention, I don't want to talk too long. I'm on a roll, Amber. Um, our Mayhem group in the month of May, we got such incredible feedback from that. And I think there's a lot of reasons. It wasn't just Maria telling everybody what to do. Yes, it was my idea, my group. But what did I do? I pulled in leaders. I do not micromanage. I say, what are you good at? What do you want to talk about? And they gave you your challenge of the day. Some of those things were challenges for me because it's not things that I would normally do on a daily basis or whatever. But that has been gold with just getting restarted. I need to backtrack on something I said. When I said, when you're on again, off again, on again, off again, you're losing people's trust. Here's what you got to do. If you're on and you're ready to be on and you're legit on, you need to make a post and you need to say, I don't know why I don't talk about this stuff every day. It's changed my life. I feel so much better. It gives me a dose of motivation. It helps with my mood support. I know everybody needs this. So guess what, guys? I'm going to be talking about this stuff again. And then just go with it. Hop in the Mayhem group. Go back to May 1st. If you need to know what to do right now to grow your business, go into May 1st and go do that task. Then go to May 2nd. Go do that task. Then go to May 3rd go do that task. Get yourself primed and ready to work this thing consistently. Another conversation we've got to have with new promoters is you've got to say, girl, here's the deal. We're going to go get you this first bonus and the second bonus, and we're shooting for that third. I need you to tell me right now you're willing to make 60 commitment because that built overnight. This opportunity can change your life, but you've got to be consistent with it. And if you haven't been consistent, then you got to make a, you got to, you got to be disciplined to stay consistent so that people will follow you. Here's another thing. Do not expect anybody to follow you if you're not doing anything to follow. I mean, it's just the way it is. There are people right now that are watching 10 Thrivers. They're watching 10 Thrivers. And when they decide who they're going with, they're going with the person that's in it that's in the game, that's celebrating successes, and they know will lead them to success. They're not going to join you just because you're their friend. I mean, if they seriously want to build a business, they're going with the friend. And you can't get offended by that because everybody has the same opportunity, guys. You all have the same opportunity. 
And none of these leaders are talking about freaking ranks. They're just being consistent and showing the way. That's what's important. Another thing, we have for, we have put together 30 days of Facebook posts. For those of you, I get it. You, you just have a day where you're like, I don't even know what to post. I don't know what to do. It has been incredible for new launches. It has been incredible for relaunches. It has been incredible just for a leader that's like, you know what I feel like I say, post the same thing. I just need a refresher. Um, it is in our boards app. Amber, if you'll put it, um, I don't know if you want to put the link somewhere or um, in your team page or whatever. It is in Team Thrive Nation. Um, you just have to download the boards app. If you're Android, there's a little bigger way to do it. But reality is you can open it and you can just copy and paste if you have to like don't make excuses for why you can't use it like just figure it out that's another thing sometimes with what we do you just got to figure it out right um ask for help get guidance and start doing it and um stay consistent with it. Make sure your team knows about it. Um, accountability is also a big deal. Just grabbing some people and say, you know what, I'm going to do this for, you know, 10 days. I need somebody else to do it with me for 10. Let's hold each other accountable, blah, blah, blah. You'll be amazed at the people that are like, I'm in, I'm in. So um, those are most of the things, Amber, that are on my mind right now. And um, I'll let you just kind of open for questions if you want. And then we can well, talk off and off kind of then talk go... about a zillion things at once. I want to go a little bit back. Um, I know you have been, you kind of, uh-oh, did we lose her altogether? Um, uh-oh, I think we lost her altogether. Hold on. Mario, where did you go? Yeah, they're driving, so we probably lost her. But I want to talk about I'm some. Here. Can you hear me? Oh, okay, there you are. I was like, yeah. you totally went away. Okay, so I want to go back anyway. Um, when you talked about the beginning and Tony and you were like, I don't want your stuff. Um, and all the things, but that you know she was still reaching out to you and that she was still following your stuff. Well, guys, that's the same thing Maria did to me. So when we're talking about going and commenting and being a person and all the things because. I didn't know I needed this. Um, I just thought I was meant to be tired, exhausted, and grumpy forever. Um, but she lived her Thrive Life out loud. And when she was following up with me, I was like, oh, sorry. I haven't had a chance to take a look. I've just been really busy with the boys racing and stuff. She didn't just say, oh, okay, let me know when you check it out. She said, oh, I understand. What kind of racing? Like, I still remember that. It like she cared and she asked and it started more conversation. And so that's, you know, be a human. We're not just going after a sale. We're truly trying to help somebody. And at the same time, don't write anybody off. Like I told her I wasn't going to have anything to do with this business. Um, I told her I did not have time for this. But when I started and those dolls were there, I was like, well, is that real money or is that just thrive like are they gonna send me money or are they gonna send me product because I don't care about product but I do need some money um so don't write anybody off I literally told her I was just gonna be a customer I I accidentally signed up as a promoter but I was not gonna work the business guys hey wait you know what, though, let's talk about this too because a lot of people don't know this um, I was planting the seed and following up with you religiously, but it was actually a mutual friend of ours mm -hmm. that shared a story about Thrive that it caught Amber's eye. And that's the night that she logged in, placed her order accidentally as a promoter, and and then we were off and running. So that's another thing, too. Your Write this down. This has been said since 2013. Write it down. Your friends are going to hear about it. They may as well hear about it from you. Mm -hmm. Like, And then you can't get butt hurt when your friend goes and joins somebody because you, you didn't even promote it or act like you would take on a team or any. You can't, no. you can't get butt hurt about that stuff, guys. Yeah. I mean, and, and, and here's the reality. Sometimes you're going to do all the things, all the things, and somebody's going to choose a different direction. And that's just the way it is don't stress over that but make sure you're doing that personal audit that personal audit would you join you 
And yeah. if you don't think you're a good leader, then I want you to go, okay, what can I do to be a good leader? Ask your leader, like ask, ask, your, ask your leader what, hey, can you take a look at my yes. social media? Oh, she's yes. getting out. Yes. But yeah, ask and your another leader. thing is guys, we, well, and we have created so much for you guys. Like nobody has to go create your own thing. As a matter of fact, please don't. Like, please stop. Do not go create something. Utilize the tools I have that I've spent a zillion dollars on for this entire team. Utilize what Amber has. We have a basic training call that's on YouTube, okay? Utilize my basic training call. Send it to your brand new promoter. We have a VIP bot that they can go through Messenger and messages every single day of what to do in their first 14 days to get VIP. We have a VIP 14-day video training series with multiple leaders giving a video a day in their VIP period, utilize that. We have the boards app for your first 30 days of posts to make. Use what we have. Mm -hmm. Use the tools to set people up for success and then celebrate the heck out of them. Absolutely. Okay, so now let's move into, I know you're cutting in and out, it's probably area, but let's move into how and where are you finding the new people? Um, how are you continuously adding to your network and how are you creating relationships where these people are seeing your thrive and trusting you what, where, and how are you finding okay. these people? So, <laughs> yes. Okay. So I love, love, love Facebook groups. I love them. I love Facebook groups. Um, because it is a play. I, I only hop in the ones that I want to be in and that I can genuinely have conversations in. Okay. Um, now remember my commercials running 24 seven on my Facebook page, but in those groups, I'm able to communicate with people about whatever it is that they're talking about. Right. Um, I do a whole lot with type one diabetic moms and, um, moms of athletes, like specifically baseball moms. So that is a great way to build your network, guys. And it's been awesome for me. I, I actually do. So if you look at my Instagram right now, my Instagram's kind of dead because really over the last 60, 75 days, um, I've had so much more activity on Facebook that that's where my focus has gone. You know, where, where you're getting the activity is where your focus goes for a while, right? Now I am keeping my face, my, my um, Instagram alive. It's just not as active as it had been before. So that's another thing where I talk about the consistency. I've still got to be talking about it. I am still in my stories over there. Um, but you know, I'm, I don't have a real up for every single solitary day of the week. I will tell you, I feel like I've gotten um, better views with spacing them out a little bit. Um, you never know. And I, I, I've decided I'm not even going to try to figure out the algorithms of the social world. I'm going to be me and I'm going to go reach out to people. Um, another thing that I have been um, consistently doing, you never know who's looking at your stuff, guys. Um, I never really looked at my story viewers um, because I'll be honest, it's hard because so many people follow me that are already thriving. So me trying to go through and handpick who's not thriving to send a message to is time consuming, but I've been super intentional with it. And the funny thing is, is I've kind of revived some people on my team because then they'll message me back and they'll be like, oh yeah, I'm already thriving. I'm like, girl, there's not a single thing about Thrive on your Instagram. Like, are you not still promoting? Well, I take the products. I'm like, girl, start promoting. If you take them every day, why would you not want to make a little money by helping people feel better? You know what I mean? So I have been able to reconnect with the existing team that just aren't doing anything. Um, see, that's another thing too. Guys. I mean, seriously, you can't, uh, you, you got to stay in it. You got to stay in it. Um, but reaching out, you know, and um, sending that message. Hey, um, I don't know if you, or thanks so much for following me over on Insta. I'm not sure how many of my posts you actually see, but I helped hard mamas feel better and heal their gut. Is there anything that you've seen that you're interested in? And then we go take the conversation from there, right? Um, being bold, honestly, has brought more people to me. Um, I think that, you get in situations where you can play small 
And I know that I've had certain times in my life where I've certainly done that, you know, um, somebody's probably going to have a problem if you're super confident in what you do. Um, but I, I don't know. I think I came off a thrive palooza, um, with such a, just, I don't know, like I'm doing it and I really don't care who I offend or whose toes I step on. Um, because those people aren't, they're not the ones making sure my family gets paid week after week, even once I'm gone. I mean, we're not supposed to talk about generational wealth. We can't use that word, but, but my business is, will continue even when I'm gone on a weekly basis and it will pay my family. So I am building something for the long term, and I don't know. I mean, I, I posted that little real Amber. I don't know. Was it when I went from a white SUV mom to a black SUV? I switched, got, got my black SUV, but maybe just, I, I think people are attracted to confidence. Um, I think, you know, having an open arm of, you know what, it's okay if you quit or you left and you went and joined seven other companies along the way, you can come back and there's a place for you. Um, it's that open invitation that, that has brought people to me. Um, but, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm still always in messenger. I also um, really, really um, been intentional with talking to my customers about the promoter opportunity. Like, why not? Why not? Um, to be honest, some of, several of my new promoters were customers when we launched that $600 for $300, but $900 in volume. So they were already faithful thrivers, right? But the company launched that deal and I just reached out to them and we got them started. And then I'm like, okay, look, you're already a fourth of the way to 4K. So like I'm painting that picture. Well, you're already almost there. Okay, well, then you've got one customer. All you need is one more and you're getting it free. Oh, you've got one customer. All you need is somebody that wants to be a customer that can make money. You're just going to hit VIP 400, get a $200 bonus and 100 in credit. See, like it's... It really is utilizing, I, I swear to y'all, what they set us up with, if we can just focus on that, it's really where the magic is. It really is. Um, I just think we can, I mean, I know, I know there's plenty of times where I'll just onboard, you know, in the past I onboard somebody and I'm just thinking they're going to know all the things, but, but now I'm, I'm in their business. I am all up in their business again. And I, I went through seasons where I wasn't um, because God, I have so many other people to work with that are motivated, right? But I'm, I'm in their business. I'm giving them the time. I'm treating them like, you know, I, I did when the very first time I, I tried to run after an auto bonus. And again, I'm confident in what we have here, where it's going, our leadership, our product, um, yeah, that's a lot. But well, <laughs> again, because it's not just one thing. I can't, I can't narrow down just one thing. Yeah. No, and here's the thing is that one, I I know you. So I know that you are working in these groups. And guys, when we talk about groups, like Maria is not in random groups that don't apply to her. Like we join groups really for ourselves. Like, I know when her life got flipped upside down and Gunner was diagnosed with type one diabetes, she immediately went on a research mode and joined every type one group she could join. Same as me. When Jason got a pacemaker, I'm joining every pacemaker group. Now we're, I'm joining Parkinson's groups. I'm like, I'm, I'm not joining those thinking I'm going to go sell them all thrive. I'm joining them because that's what I need right now. And and then when things switch and I'm in my motocross moms group, y'all, that group, that group makes me happy because that group is the group. It's not gloom and doom. It's, you know, it's our life. It's good. It's fun. It's I can take advice from them and I can give. Right. So it's a take and a give. And when you can be active, those people trust you and then they become your friends and they follow you on Facebook and then they become your thrivers. Um, 
Like that's, you know, who are your newest thrivers? It's the people that you are interacting with the most, the people that they're seeing your face. So if you're just in a group and you're just like taking, you're not giving, they're not seeing you. They're not seeing your face. They're not, you've got to be making posts, all the things like you have to be doing the things. You can't just join groups. Like you have to be active in the groups and not with a, what do you call that mindset? Not a mindset of I'm coming to harvest the people to get thrive. Like it's, that's, it's yeah. Not I mean, to, yeah, to be honest, one of my newest customers, I mean, we were just chatting. Um, I, I, my memory popped up of when Gunner had his elbow surgery and, um, you know, this kind of goes back to guys, what do we do as thrivers? We're helping others live a life that they deserve. What we do is make an impact in other people's life. Okay. We share hope. We encourage, we empower, we uplift. That's what we do, right? I don't just do that with Thrive or with this business. I do that in lots of areas. So when Gunner's memory popped up of his elbow surgery, he still has a screw in his elbow. You know, the fact that he is a type one diabetic boy that just committed to play baseball at the division one level is pretty damn inspiring for these kids. Right. And I shared his elbow surgery because I'd seen multiple moms talk about injuries and these kids are 11 12 13 14 15 years old and I just wanted to share some hope of guys three years ago this is where we were and I had no idea what would be next right um but this is where he is today so hang in there please share this with anybody that needs some hope and some encouragement because you know when you that's that's what we're supposed to do as humans, right? Like when you've been through something that's hard and you can turn around and help that next person that's going through it and say, hey, it's going to be okay. But I, this is something you can overcome and you can inspire. It's just being a good human. Um, I, I had multiple conversations with multiple moms about it and literally just out of the blue the other day, a mom came to me and said, Hey, I saw you talk about the patch. Can you tell me more about that? So see, I'm just being human. I'm just talking to her about her son, encouraging. We had a few more conversations over in messenger, actually used my voice to talk to her about some stuff. And then a couple of years, she's asking me about my patch. So social media, guys, is such a great way to build relationships. I get it. I know we're busy. I know we're on the go. Obviously, when I meet people out and about, you know, um, it's, I, I'm going to add them to social as far as, you know, if they're on a team or whatever, but it's hard to meet new people out and about all the time. Like you have to go to the social media world and um, you basically, you know, are speed dating to build relationships. And there's some people that you're going to connect with well, and there's some people that you're not and, and that's okay. But you just stay focused because you never know who's watching you and you never know who's going to bed tonight, praying for the solution that you have to offer. That's why your consistency is so important. And that's why sending the message, oh, oh, one of my latest, get this. So I met a girl in Panama City Beach at Gulf Coast Jam years ago. Um, she was young, like maybe barely out of high school. And um, anyway, they were just hilarious. Well, we connected on Instagram and um, I saw that she had watched some of my, my Thrive story. And so I just messaged her and I just said, hey, my little Panama City Beach friend, um, I don't know how much you see of all my Thrive posts, but I would love to share more about what I do. You've been, actually, I think I voice memoed her and no, maybe I didn't, maybe I typed it out, but I, um, anyway, she, her message back to me was like, oh my gosh, I wanted to ask you about this, but I was scared. I was literally on your website and almost filled out the form the other day. And I'm like, what? what website? See, that's the thing, guys. We don't know who's clicked our link. We don't know who's gone shopping on whatever. We we don't know. But when you ask, 
that makes a huge difference. You've got to go ask. Because they, they may just be waiting on you to ask. And here's the thing, guys. And all these messages that I've sent over the last 45 days, I've had plenty of people that have come back to me and said, no, thank you. Or I tried that before. Or, um, you know, whatever. And you know what I do? I just love on them a little bit. Now, the people that say I've tried it before and it didn't work. I'm like, girl, I I hear this more times than not. And I'm going to be honest with you. I'm, I hate that because... I think if I had been able to walk you through this, you would have had an amazing experience. I said, I hate the fact that, you know, uh, and and I've even said, you know, sometimes people just don't know how to walk people through, how to take it. You know, typically we can tweak things so you have a great experience. Then another thing is I'll twist it to um, totally get it. No big deal. If you um, ever decide you want to do a 10 day detox, check out our collagen products or what else have I thrown in there or our hydration drink for this hot summer please let me know. We have a ton of options now. See, so like, I didn't just go, oh my gosh, my day is ruined. That girl told me no, blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm like, I don't care. Like, I'm going to plant the seed. It may be 18 months from now, but I extended that invitation to her. So I've got to do my part. So when she's ready, she comes to me and wants to try it again. Oh my gosh. Okay. So you just saying that and saying, well, I didn't get all sad and whatever. It totally took me back. Like real truth here. Y'all Mari used to say all the time that I busted her bubble when <laughs> she called me because I was like, yeah, I don't want that. Good for you. Um, but she didn't go boohooing about it. She went and sent 50 more messages to other people. Like she might've been sad about it for a hot second, but she just kept going. And, and then I came around. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, in my mind, I was kind of like, what does she mean? She doesn't want this. Like what? But you know what? No, I was so confident. And again, this is where confidence comes into play, guys. I said, okay, but go here and fill out your information. Because if you ever want to do this, I want you doing this with me. And I think it gave Amber kind of a sense of want, like wanting, like, wait a minute, she wants me to join her business. Like she wants me to partner with her. It was a compliment. Mm -hmm. um, oh, that's another thing that I've been doing. I mean, if people, if I see people that I would love to work with, but they promote another product or business, I'm reaching out to them and I'm just saying, Hey girl, I, I know this is a weird message to get from me. Um, and I'm voice memoing. Um, but I love what you do. I love your just spunk and energy. And I would love to work with you at some point. If you ever decide to do anything else or you're open to, you know, learning more about what I do, let's talk some more. And I have not had someone yet say, oh my gosh, I'm closing the door to this company. I want to join you right now. I have not had that happen yet, but I've gotten several messages back of, oh my gosh, Maria, thank you so much. Such a sweet compliment. You know, I'm really happy. Where I'm. And then, absolutely. I would keep you in mind. You know what I mean? Like there's nothing wrong with that guys. Like there's nothing wrong with that. Um, and it, I didn't make it sound cross recruiting ish or slimy ish or whatever. I mean, mm -hmm. if you've got somebody that you're like, Oh God, if she ever does something different, I want her to do something with me. Like there's nothing wrong with saying that. Um, and you know, if you're genuine, they're probably not going to get offended. So, um, anyway, just got to go for it. I mean, I, uh, one of the things Stephen Belsario said, is he said, if I send the message and they block me or they don't respond or they say no, nothing changed. My, my business didn't go backwards because I did that. My business didn't, nothing changed. But if I send the message and they say yes, or I'm open, I've probably got a new customer or a new promoter and I'm excited, you know, I'm ready to go. So it's, if you want it to change, you've got to send the message. Mm -hmm. And I, let me add this, every Amber will attest to this. And those, uh, those of you that were also um, in Cabo for um, our mastermind, did anybody act like everybody's just coming to them? No. Everyone is sending the message. 
that whole trend of whatever that was, don't cold met. Well, well, it's not cold messaging if you're connected to the person, like mm-hmm. freaking send the message. And it's also not a cold message if they've been watching your stuff and are in your stories for you to say, hey, this is what I do. Are you interested? Are you open to hearing more? Like, what's so wrong with that? Like, go freaking do it. Yeah, I think I think what happened was in over the years, somehow that whole term cold messaging, it it scared people because people thought, well, I don't want to message somebody if they haven't messaged me first. And I'm like, that's not what that is. Being Sending a bold message is what we're talking about. Just go send the message. No, don't go spam 75 people you don't know being like, right. hey, you should come over here and make money over here. Like, that's all what we're saying. You know, just be a right. human and go send the message. Yeah, because I will, I'm not going to lie. When I get random messages that say, Hey, you can make $200, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, girl, have you not looked at my profile? <laughs> right. <laughs> like, but that's a cold message. That's a person that doesn't know you, right? That it's the, hey, I love what you're doing. I love following you. If you're ever up for the conversation, I would love to talk more and partner with you. Like just something simple, be a human. Don't be a salesy ad because we're not going for sales here. We're going to change people's lives. And when you change people's lives, the sales come in. Yeah, that's, that's it. Okay. So I wanted to say to giveaways, like when Maria talked about, if you have product in your, your cabinet, your closet, you have product on hand, guys, something that I've started doing, which I truly love. And I really didn't think about it. Um, because when we started this, so like when I started, um, we had the three steps and ultra was just launched. Um, so I've literally been here since every plus line was launched. So ultra was launched, I ordered ultra balance was launched, I ordered balance, activate was launched, I ordered activate boost. So one thing at a time, right? But we have promoters in our teams that have not tried all the plus line yet because you can't come in as a promoter and order all what 30 of our plus lines, right? So Mm -hmm. me sending, doing promos, doing things and sending people in our team, little goodie bags of different uh, plus line products is huge. So when you're like, well, I don't, I can't do this much in credits or I can't do giveaways. You can do products. Like people have not tried all of our products. So you can within your team do promos of plus line products. I had no idea. I was given boost and some things. They're like, oh, I haven't got to try that yet. And I was like, boost? You haven't tried boost yet? Like <laughs> boost has been my favorite for so long. I just didn't think there were people that hadn't tried it yet. So think about that when you have these products, like what can you incentivize your teams with? Well, and also let's go back to that. Like, let's say we've got somebody that's trying to get to 12K right now, right? And their team typically does $8,000, $9,000 in volume every month, right? So they're like, Hi, like, where am I going to get that? Well, what can what can you do as far as sharing credits or running promos for those um, plus line products, Right. Um, can you run a challenge within your team? Hey, go get 10 new free accounts, connect me with at least four people and I'll send you enough credits to get you a box of booths to try. Mm -hmm. And then volume just grew. You know what I mean? Plus they just had to go get 10 accounts. Typically we have a 40% conversion rate Mm -hmm. of accounts. If they connected you with five, can you close the deal on three? And then can you work with those three to refer to and triple that volume? Yeah. And what if, even if, if you only got one order out of every 10 accounts that you got, hello, that's some great volume. So if you go yes. and get, go. Well, and, and then, then and getting it early in the month, like it is now that one person, we the goal is to get them to refer their two. So mm-hmm. they get it for free next mm-hmm. month. I'll tell you what, my my goals, my goals aren't met by me focusing on my goals. My 
goals have been met by me going, okay, I have a new customer. I've got to help her get it for free. What can I do to get two customers ASAP? Okay, I've got a new promoter. How can I get her to VIP 400? Okay, new promoter has a new customer. How can we get that customer thriving for free? See, it's if you will use our tools to help everybody get what they want, your volume will grow. Mm -hmm. And it's not just you doing it all. Your people are, are connecting their people. Because everything about this business is not who you know, it's who they know. But it's also about helping them hit their goal. And it all starts with Refer to Thrive for Free, VIP 400. Yeah. And it's about doing it together. Like everybody wants to be just like when Maria said, hey, I want you thriving with me when you change your mind. Like everybody wants to do something with somebody. Everybody wants to be thought about. Everybody wants community. We do this together even if we're hours apart. For sure. For sure. Okay. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Thank you for being on. Um, yeah, thank you it for driving her safely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Bye everybody. Thanks y'all.